Well, shares in Fletcher Building tumbled 9% today after the company forecast more losses in its construction division and announced its chair would stand down. The company revealed it would make a $660 million loss in its buildings and interiors division this year, half a billion more than it forecast in October. The building products and construction firm also told investors there'll be no half-year dividend and its chair, Sir Ralph Norris, will stand down. So Ralph says the size of the losses have been disappointing and surprising considering the company's roots. Look, if you go back and look at this business, I mean the construction business was virtually the foundation of Fletcher's going back over 100 years ago. And one would have thought that that was a part of the business that we would have um, had significant strength and obviously process and all the rest of it over, built up over 100 years. Um, it's disappointing to find that this business was not as robust as we had, as, as, a, as the board thought. And you know, we thought we had major issues with a number of our other businesses that we really concentrated on. So to some extent, we were somewhat blindsided what, by, by what happened at BNI. But you're right, BNI is a, a business that has um, high revenues, low margins, and from a profitability perspective, it's not worth the risk. Sir Ralph Norris says he will be helping the company transition through a number of changes over the next few months, with three new directors and a strategy to put back on track. Its chief executive Ross Taylor says the company won't be taking on any more projects for the building and interiors business and will get out of that area altogether once all 16 projects on its books are completed. Those projects include the Auckland Convention Centre and the commercial bay development on the Auckland waterfront. Mr Taylor says he's confident the division's losses have now been totally accounted for. It's worse than I was expecting. Coming into the role, um, I was always wide open and I mean I was attracted by all the great things about Fletcher's but I knew there was going to be um, some focus on the building and interiors provisions um, and I expected to get in there and possibly it might be a bit worse. I hadn't quite expected the breadth of it across the entire building, such a large project portfolio, I thought it might be more focused. So the size and breadth of it in B&I was probably a surprise. Ross Taylor will be delivering the company's first half result next week.